The CDC updated its recommendation for when many people can receive a booster shot. The agency shortened the waiting period from six months to five months after your second Pfizer shot. That recommendation comes as researchers learn of a new Omicron specific symptom. Brandy Smith explains why these variants are showing up in different ways. Why are people infected with the Omicron variant showing a strange new symptom? At this point in the pandemic, we're all pretty familiar with the symptoms of COVID. Fever, cough, and a loss of taste and smell. But now that Omicron is the dominant strain in the United States, people are starting to report a symptom often associated with a litany of other conditions. Night sweats. That means repeated episodes of extreme perspiration, often leaving your clothes and sheets soaked with sweat by the time you wake up. The change in symptoms was first noted in Britain, which was hit with Omicron before it quickly spread to the US. Doctors with the country's National Health Service now say night sweats are a sign you should go get tested for COVID. The other symptoms most reported with Omicron are sore throat, headache, and fatigue. Common COVID symptoms like loss of taste and smell don't appear to be affecting people infected by this new variant. The good news is there is growing evidence that Omicron causes less severe symptoms. The research shows the extremely contagious variant is more likely to infect the throat than the lungs, meaning it's doing less damage to the lungs. So far, these studies haven't been peer reviewed, but researchers believe Omicron's mutations have changed its ability to infect different types of cells. Experts still warn we shouldn't be lulled into a false sense of security because Omicron remains a very real global health threat. With the Y, I'm Brandy Smith. Brandy, thank you. Researchers are also warning of new signs and symptoms for kids. Experts at the University Hospital in Cleveland released a list of pediatric warning signs and symptoms. Trouble breathing, dehydration, and persistent pain or pressure in the chest. Experts say if your child shows any of these symptoms, they could be sick. Or if you know that your child already has COVID, well, these are signs that it could be getting worse. So as soon as you have trouble getting your young child to drink, if their diapers are dry, up or if they're not going to the bathroom, get them evaluated by a doctor. Important information there and sticking with the